Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lina and in this video I'll show you the most profitable and easiest trading strategy. If you're new here and you think the trading is too hard for you, it's wrong because my strategies are very simple, even for beginners. Go to my Telegram channel by the link below the video. To do this, open it in the app. Join the group and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any useful information every day. Join my VIP group, just go to the dialogue with me and write plus VIP. So Quex, let's close this concept bar. I picked up such concept bars today, our indicators are fractal and CCI. We open on a 5 minute time frame. Let's open a down trade. Note that the local maximum has been updated. And this indicates that the chart will go down. Open the deal for 5 minutes. CCI shows that the overbought area is exceeded. The chart will go down. So I'll tell you about the fractal, what the fractal is until the deal closes in plus. And the fractal is a technical indicator developed by Bill Williams that allows you to determine the bottom or a top on the chart and up fractal is uh, formed when uh, five candles are changed in a combination. The middle candle has the largest, the largest maximum. Mm, this up fractal. Uh, so here is global and this is, these are locals. And the same with the down fractal where the middle candle has the lowest minimum, that is the local minimum, mm, is updated. This is how the fractal is indicated. So on the chart, the fractal is indicated by up or down arrows and zoom. And it's not necessary that there are five candles or bars. Another optional condition um, is that the central up fractal has a minimum as well as a maximum higher than the others. So this is also visible, visible on the chart. And uh, one more question, how to apply this indicator? So let's see. If we can replace. Yeah. So the local minimum uh, was updated and the chart will go up five minutes of trading. Each candle has a time frame of one minute, the local maximum, and the chart will go down, and uh, vice versa. We opened for a fall, the chart went down. And let's wait for the completion of our deal. And do not forget to subscribe to my telecom channel and you can find the link in the description. The deal goes into plus and the profit is $85. So let's move on to the next concept. Um, also, a 5 minute time frame, the concept price is perfect for us. Uh, open a deal on the down, down deal. Let's see, the overbought area is affected by CCI. The chart will go down. Also, the local maximum has been updated, but we are on a 5 minute time frame and several candles will appear. Something will go up. And down something will go down. Yeah, the local minimum was updated. Then the maximum there was a rollback. Yeah, and the chart mm, 
goes down and now yeah see roll back you see zoom and i'll tell you about the cci oscillator so cci is an oscillator that measures the strength behind a particular price movements in simple words it helps to determine whether the market is bull or bear so it has some similar similarities with the momentum indicator in addition the value of both indicators fluctuates in a certain range of sides the center point is zero and the momentum is from 100 to minus 100 it's limited so cci uses a moving average to measure the current price i'll tell you also about how to calculate cci now mm, yeah. so the first step to determine the average of the high and low and close prices and uh, the second step is to calculate the moving average of a typical price use the value of 14 there is yeah one second Yeah, this area, there is a hundred and minus one hundred area. So, overbought and oversold area. The chart is down. The chart is up. There was... Um, key points there was a touch the child will go up so easy to use and in the meantime the child went up let's wait for the completion of our deal and the child went down as I said Our deal closed positively. Profit was $180. Lowers. Let's continue. I'll show you how to open on a minute time frame. And we open for an increase. The deal amount is $250. Lowers. The robot area was affected. Mm we see and the child will go up a good good roll back up fractal up and let's see mm -hmm. mm. local maximum the child go down and let's wait for the completion of our deal. The deal closes positively. Let's move on to the next counterpart. So, open for an increase. The chart, chart went up good chart the overboard area is affected but the fractal says otherwise the deal amount is 250 dollars a minute time frame and let's wait for the completion of our deal And 
the deal is in the plus almost two thousand and a half. Uh, they were so good, good results for today and I recommend you to test this tutorial and if you have any questions you can write me in the comments, I'll be glad to answer them and thanks for watching, see you later!